What's up, Eagle Empire? This is Ted McCourt from Moorhead State Athletics, and today I'm excited to bring you a brand new feature where we will profile in depth a Moorhead State student athlete. Now, we'll be airing this every Tuesday, and it's a simple name Tuesday TED Talk. Today, the first student athlete we'll be talking to is a Moorhead State women's basketball player, Orlandra Lala Humphreys. Lala is a senior forward from Chicago, Illinois who started her career at Southwest Tennessee Community College before coming to Moorhead State, where last year she enjoyed a great amount of success with the 24-11 and 11 Eagles that went to the WNIT. This year, Lala is making her way and starting to really get in a groove of things as the Eagles get into Ohio Valley Conference play here in her senior season. Now, I sat down with Lala earlier today and talked a little bit about her personal life, her playing career, and things she plans to do after Moorhead State. And now we're joined here with Orlandra Lala Humphreys, number 23 on the court, senior from Chicago, Illinois. Now, now Lala, first of all, Lala, where does that come from? Is that just the end of Orlandra? Or? Uh, I actually got that name from my grandma. She gave it to me because I used to always watch Teletubbies, and every time it came on, I would – yell at the yellow one her name is Lala so she named me Lala I remember when you came on campus last year and I first met you and you're like I want to go by Lala I was like okay okay now that's what I tell go to all the arenas that we play in I tell all the PA people that's Lala Humphreys not Orlando <laughs> now let's you know talk a little bit about uh, about you let's uh, you know elaborate a little bit more from Chicago Illinois you, you came to Moorhead State after a short stint at, at JUCO at Southwest Tennessee and now you're here with the Eagles. Let's talk, you know, from the beginning, start out at Chicago. What's it like growing up in the Windy City, Law? Well, growing up in Chicago, it's kind of tough, but at the same time, it's fun. You experience a lot of stuff. The food there is great, so you always eat good. And it's just a good, it's a good city overall. It's just tough living there yeah you see a lot of you know crazy stuff on the news about Chicago but overall you know you really enjoy growing up there yeah I love Chicago I love the city but now you have to really appreciate though the fact that you go from Chicago now you're in you know little eastern Kentucky Moorhead here I'm sure that has to be a culture change but let's you know after Chicago Columbia High School correct Columbia Heights, yeah. Columbia Heights High School where you played your high school hoops at then you went to Southwest Tennessee Community College, correct? Yeah, I actually attended Southeastern before that as well, and that's in Illinois. So, okay, okay. Yeah. So you had a, another stop before that. Now, you tell the people a little bit about that journey and and what that was like. You know, it's you hear a lot about it, but you don't actually get to you know, you, you don't, a lot of people don't know about it. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, JUCO, I would say is like it's amazing. Like it's a fun experience. I I would encourage people to go JUCO out of high school, but you know, a lot of people want to go to, straight to a university. But JUCO was fun. I actually, I had probably had my best, best games in JUCO, actually. Like, I averaged a double-double my freshman year, and then I actually broke my hand at Southwest Tennessee, so that was a little minor setback for me. And I'm kind of just, you know, getting back in the groove, D1 University. It's different. I had to make some adjustments, but it's coming along. And one, I think it was your sophomore year at Southwest Tennessee, you're one of the top shot blockers in the country. So uh, that, that's how you broke the hand, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, now you're at Moorhead State. How did that kind of, how did that process happen? You know, Coach Todd, what got you to here with, with Coach Todd and, and this program? Um, it was really last minute. I had other offers, but I really didn't like the offers I had. So it was last minute. Coach Williams actually was following me since my freshman year, you know, watching my games and stuff like that. So he reached out to me and he basically brought me here with him. It's, it's a pretty good school yeah. overall. Yeah, Coach Williams, he's, he's, done, he's brought quite a few of great players here, you being one of them in his, in his, in his second year. And, you know, last year, what a season that was. You, you, you come to Moorhead State your first season, you guys go to the second round of the WNIT, you go and beat Ohio State. What was what was that ride like? Twenty four wins, the second most ever in school history. What was that whole ride like for you? It was fun. It was fun winning, like just knowing like we're a winning team and having all the the 
people on the team that we did, all the weapons we had, it was fun. It was a fun ride. And what was that like to, you know, be one of the best teams in the OVC, then go to Ohio State and knock them off? I was there courtside. It was in, it was the energy was nuts. You guys were pretty pumped up. Yeah, that was lit. It was lit. We were lit for after we beat Ohio State. We were lit for a minute. Like it was lit. And now, you know, Law, let's you know talk a little bit about this year. You're coming off your best game of your career. You, you, 13 rebounds, 12 points against Eastern Illinois. You're starting to come along. We were talking just before this. You know, you're starting to get in that groove. Is you, you're feeling good? Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to get back to the freshman Lala because I know what I'm capable of and what I can do. So hopefully this continues because you know, I'm freshman year. I was used to getting those numbers, and I just want to get back in that groove and keep helping my teammates. And you can see you on on the floor. You know. You're, for one, you're the, the the lead of the of the press defense a lot of times, and you're out here running back and forth, and and it's pretty great to watch. But oh, this past Saturday, you got on the groove of the game, a career high in minutes, also, and, and you're just going up and down the floor and just balling. I mean, yep, yep. I just wanted to finish my senior year off different and stronger. And no, what's that been like? You guys have been our, our young team, you. Brianna Jackson, Jaleesa Avery are the only three seniors with, with a lot of real experience. And what's it been like to kind of be a leader of, on this group? Um, it's basically all about, you know, working together and having the team leadership and coming together as a team and building our chemistry so that because we're a young team and this is like our first year playing with each other, you know, it takes more work for us. So that's all. We're just basically since it's conference time, we're just, you know, we're, we're not letting up. We're not trying to let up. Yeah, you and Moorhead State's established itself as one of the top women's programs in the OVC now, and you guys are just trying to keep that tradition going, right? Yeah, that's why we're not trying to let up. Yeah, yeah. And you, you hear, like, Coach Duck preach in practice, you know, we're the best in the OVC at defense. You know, you, you got the coaches like Coach Duck, Coach Williams, and then – Coach Todd, they're kind of different, right? I mean, Coach Todd's really mild mannered, but sometimes Coach Doug, and Coach Williams can really, really get at it. Yep, yep. Um, and another reason for us, you know, not wanting to let up is because a lot of people don't have faith in us this year because we lost so many like seniors from last year. But I feel like it can still be the same season that we had last year. It's just the work we put in. Kind of embracing that underdog role, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right, Law. Well, now let's you know talk a little bit about your game. You know, who's your who is your favorite player? What what do you when you're out here shooting? Who do you think, man? That's me. Um, I want to say LeBron. <laughs> that's really my favorite player. That's where the two three comes from, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's really my favorite player. He's just like an incredible player. Like he incredible. Yeah, I think he's the best of all time. I mean, hopefully no one judges me, but I, I agree with you. I think he's the best of all time. Now, have you always been you're, – you're six foot tall. You're long, lanky. Have you always just been one – like, been like that? I mean, or did you finally just grow into this body? But have you always been one of those just long players? Well, in middle school, I was kind of – it's crazy, but I was, like, shorter than everybody. <laughs> and then I just had my growth spurt. Yeah, yeah. It's, Long and athletic. And now you're chasing people down on the press, you know, tapping <laughs> balls out of bounds and just and just really causing havoc. Now, I also notice, you know, you're not just a defensive player, but like we said, you scored 12 points. You, you got some, some nice moves in the paint. Where those come from? Um, my post coaches throughout all my four years, just putting them all together and um, reading the defense smart and using them. Now, let's uh, talk about – the team and talk about some individuals on the team. Let's do a little bit of rapid fire real quick. All right. Who is the best defender on the team? I would say uh, it's between Tamaya and Ari. Because Ari, she's a very good defender. She's long. She can block shots. And Tamaya, she just she presses the ball very well. She presses the ball very well. And, and if you're going one-on-one -on -one and you're playing defense with somebody, who's your toughest matchup that's, that's coming at you on the offensive side? Um, 
that's a hard one. <laughs> a lot of a lot of a lot of ball. I mean, you from Tamaya's little pull up in the lane. You got or you can take it to the rack anytime, just yeah. about. And then Jazz though, Jazz got the double clutch. You I know, mean, up and in. Clutch. Jazz is clutch. Like she'll hit you with some clutch stuff and like a little jelly and yeah, you know. Yeah. And, and can't forget about Bree too. Bree just oh, yeah. goes at you right right at you, puts it up, and she can even pull up, put it in your eye from about downtown. Yeah, Bree has very good shot face. Like. She will shot fake you, like make you jump and go right past you. Like she's good with that. Now, you know, let's talk off the court and talk about you know you're student athlete and this student comes first. What's your what's your major right now at Moorhead State and, and uh, you know what made you choose that major? Well, coming into college, it was nursing. Like I have my mind set on nursing. That's still what I want to do to this day. But because of basketball and practicums, it won't work obviously. So I changed it to criminology. And criminology, it's it's okay, you know. You can get a couple jobs off of that. But I just got to find what I want to do in criminology since that's what I'm going to be graduating. I think your lockdown defense could, you know, you know translate to, you know, a prison lockdown, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Now, this is – you're set to graduate this semester, right? Yep, May. How exciting is that? You know, you're going to be walking across the stage in May with a, with a diploma. What's what's that like? Uh, it's, what's that going to be like, I should say? I'm, I'm going to be, like, the happiest person in the world. I've been waiting on that day. Like, I feel like I've been in school for so long and been accomplishing so much stuff over the years. Like, it's, I can't wait to have that feeling of just getting my degree and just graduating. Do you plan to, you know, go on and further that to get a, maybe a graduate degree or, or do you think you're just gonna try to hit the workforce maybe i'm gonna try to just hit the workforce but i did want to you know grab my master's yeah. as well so i'm gonna look into that more towards you know the end of the season but that's what i was looking for a lot of a lot of big decisions coming up right i mean it, this is an exciting time it has to be really difficult to balance hoops and hoops and books right it is it is do you have any advice for any you know you know students out there you know that are coming up that want to be student athletes just it's it's what's it's got to be a grind yep it's a grind and it's it's more about priorities you got to prioritize like you have to prioritize you have to know what you want out of this like what you want as a student athlete what you want to be after you're done being a student athlete like it's all about those things. All right, now a little bit, a little bit of lighter note. What are we listening to on game day to get in the mood? I see you on the bus a lot on the road trips. You always got the headphones on, never taking them off. You're in the zone. What, what are we listening to on game days, Law? It's always G Herbo, always. G Herbo. All right, all right, all right. That's what that's what's gonna get you. That's what gets you in the mindset. Okay, okay. Now, uh, you know, what's uh, what's your favorite color? Pink. Pink. Mm -hmm. Any reason? I just always liked pink since I was a little. Like my room was pink. My mom made my room pink, and ever since then, I like pink. All right, that's 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 pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Now, if you could live anywhere in the world, where'd you want to live? Dubai. Dubai. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more on that. Um, I just see a lot of people traveling to Dubai. It looks beautiful. Like it's a beautiful place to live, and it's different. It's it definitely is different. Now, before we go, uh, is there anybody you want to you know shout out? back home shout out over on campus just sh just shout out um my family really my mom yeah and my team and coaches pretty special team and, and some a good group good great group of coaches yeah. Yeah. yeah very good group of coaches all right la la humphreys orlando humphreys number 23 you catch her here at johnson arena this season i think the eagles have home stand five home games left this season on the road this weekend in Nashville, and the next weekend, Jacksonville State and Tennessee Tech. Hopefully some big wins coming up for you guys. Yep, hopefully. How much does it mean before we go when you guys have a rocking crowd in here supporting you guys? It has to just really change the entire mindset. We've played in some great atmospheres. Played at Baylor, played at Dayton this year. What's that? What's the energy level like whenever you have these have good, great crowds? Even though we're more focused on the game, you know, yeah. 
Um, it's it's important to us to have a, you know a big crowd in here like the boys do. It's important to us. It just brings a different type of energy and it just gets us ready. Like it's a different feeling when it's a packed gym. All right, Law. We look forward to having a, a great crowd here when you guys return home on the 31st of this month to take on Southeast Missouri. Orlando Humphreys, La La, really appreciate you joining us, and I hope uh, hope you enjoyed this, and I hope a lot of people out there, you know, enjoyed learning more about you. Thanks, Ted. All right, this is Orlando Humphreys.